Yeah, hello. This is uh, the AOK 3M150 watt uh, LiPo tester. It's a 2 and, uh, until 6S LiPo battery balancer. Uh, you can also test your LiPos and it's also a discharger. For discharging you need a cable. Um, this is the, the cable uh, between the discharging unit and the light bulbs. So you, uh, what you do in fact is uh, connect the LiPo to the light bulbs and this device will uh, regulate the power to the light bulbs to let it control go down to a certain level. Um, when reached this level, then it should uh, shut down the light bulbs. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm putting this uh, tester onto uh, 3.6 volts. That is now only uh, for this um, video as a purpose. Uh, normally, you should put it a bit higher, I think, but it's up to you. Um, and then when it's uh, at the right uh, point, you push the enter button and it will just dis uh, discharge the LiPo. It's uh, just as simple as that. You see the flashing sign that is uh, saying that it's discharging and uh, besides the cell voltage you see the light bulbs and finally the, you see the light bulb in real life also a little bit glowing. Um, besides I have a parallel on this tester, um, a normal uh, meter connected um, to see what's happening in real life. So you see now it's, it's okay, uh, the voltage of my meter is um, compared to this uh, battery tester, it's, it's okay, it's okay. But what you see is that it, uh, um, when it reaches the desired voltage level, 3.6 volts in this case, it continues to discharge my lipos. Um, I throw a, a few lipos away now because they have been deep charged and that's dangerous. Uh, the, the voltages between 3 volts and your lipos are damaged um, with a certain risk if you um, store them with a low uh, voltage and uh, later on you put it back on your charger again there might going to happen some ugly things. Uh, they can explode or whatever they, uh, they can be hap uh, happening with a lipo. This is a general known fact, I suppose. So never deep charge it. So this unit is not meant for unattended uh, discharge. You always have to be there. And when the light bulbs on the display stay off, then you have to disconnect your lipo. It's not shutting down completely. Uh, that is what this video all about. Of course, I'm not going to wait and talk all time until my lipos are drained. Um, so from this point, I think uh, I forwarded it a higher speed and we see what is happening. So from this point, um, it, the total process is about half an hour, uh, three quarter of an hour further. Um, and now it's getting uh, uh, interesting because what you see is that the total voltage uh, shown still drops on my universal meter. Um, but on the AOK unit, it still says uh, it has uh, 3.55 volts per cell. But that's not uh, true. The somehow it's freezing or whatever. Um, this is also getting dangerous. This is a situation where you can get a uh, totally drained lipo. You put it away in your storage box, think it's okay, but in reality it's far below the 9 volts. And below, below the 9 volts or 3 volts per cell, um, this lipo is uh, permanently damaged. 
So then it's uh, getting dangerous to charge it again. You see it's now dropping uh, uh, very fast, very fast because the voltages per cell are too low. So it's completely drained within half an hour, three quarter of an hour. Okay, thanks for, for watching. I hope this uh, explains the situation a bit. Um, maybe it's helpful, maybe it's not. Uh, happy flying anyway. Thanks.